Do you think that Google doesn't have a journaling app? In this video, I wanna share with you how you can use Google's tools to create a journaling app that works for you when you want to do digital journaling or diarying, whatever you wanna call it. All right, let's get into it. Hey, I'm Adam with the Productivity Academy, and in today's quick video, I'm gonna share with you some alternatives since Google doesn't have a dedicated app for journaling, but they do have applications that you can use. So first of all, Google Docs. If you're looking for digital journaling, you could do a lot worse. Uh, Google Docs is ubiquitous, it's everywhere, it's easy to uh, you know use on your phone, you can use it on the desktop, on tablet, wherever you want. And that is kind of a big win. Also, almost everyone has access to this and it's free if you have a Google account, a Gmail, for example. So that can be a big upside if you want to get started with that. Another potential alternative, if you're less about journaling and maybe more about note taking of kind of a fleeting uh, type where you wanna put them somewhere else is Google Keep. That's a great app you can grab. Um, and while I use it more for things like shopping lists, I know people who do use that for taking down either some voice dictation notes and then putting them somewhere else later, like Notion, a Google Doc, things like that. But between those two, those can help you get started. So I've already created videos on how to use Google Docs as a journal or a diary, and you can find that link uh, here. I'll put it in the description as well. So there's a lot of upsides to it. Again, if you're already going to be um, thinking or doing digital journaling, uh, you can use kind of voice dictation, right? You can add that in there. There's integrations with Google Drive. Um, it's easy to share. You can add it to your calendar. There's a lot uh, that can be done there. So um, uh, the other thing I would say is the ability to templatize um, and to add some structure to it. Um, and again, I go into this in more length in a different video, but you can basically you know, add headings and quickly jump down basically with a table of contents to where you need to be. You can set up a template in the template. Uh, in the Google Doc, you can have blocks that you can copy and duplicate and easily use. So if you're looking for a Google journaling app, I would highly suggest starting with Google Docs and then going from there. So some alternatives you might be looking at um, on the kind of digital side, if you're um, not sure if you're actually going to go with kind of Google Docs, uh, would be Notion uh, is another great tool for this. Um, and beyond that, there's, you know, a, a, just a huge number of tools you can use. And I'll let you do the research on those. But if you're looking at Google Docs, I would also recommend checking out Notion. If you try Google Docs and it's maybe not working for you, there may be a little bit more with Notion you can do as far as some different formatting, a little bit richer multimedia experience. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment below and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching.